Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still watching Cairo Local Time. And in this segment of our program, we will talk about differently abled celebrations for supporting people with special needs. The celebration was held yesterday under the slogan of We Have a Place with the attendance of President Abdel Fattah Sisi. The ceremony was held at Al Manara Conference Center in New Cairo. In remarks during the ceremony, President Sisi praised the nation's uh, martyrs calling on all Egyptian, Egyptians to protect the country and keep working for a better future. He also said that the state is uh, performing its duties and shouldering responsibilities towards all its citizens, adding that the state depends on laws, regulations in the administration of its institutions. And uh, to shed more light on yesterday's uh, celebration, we are joined over the phone by Dr. Heba Hagras. She is a former uh, member of parliament and international disability consultant. Good afternoon, Dr. Heba. Good afternoon, all of you. So, uh, Dr. Heba, uh, can you uh, talk to us about yesterday's uh, celebrations and uh, how uh, did the president um, uh, celebrate this special occasion? Uh, actually, uh, we, we, we are in a habit of having the president celebrate with us the International Disability Day yes. uh, uh, for four years now. Hmm. And in, in each year, he is always granting us a lot of handsome gifts uh, which really do change and um, interferes with a lot of uh, uh, what's happening on the ground and yes. improves the situation of disabled people greatly. Uh, for example, yesterday we were very honored that he gave us a lot of uh, gifts to be able to uh, really apply the law on the ground and for for people to extremely benefit from what is in the law that came out in 2018. Yes. For example, uh, he has given his instructions that we should have uh, women with disabilities who are married, their situation should be properly investigated because they need to have their uh, disability allowances uh, even if they are married. Also, he has asked the Ministry of Social Affairs to accelerate the issuance of the card for the services for people with disabilities so that really we can have a larger number uh, benefiting from all the rights that are provided uh, by law. One of the major issues that he has really uh, instructed that it should be uh, well done is that the accessibility issue in all transportation and all new roads and all highways uh, and um, the new trains, the, the high-speed trains and the monorail and all uh, such uh, methods of uh, transportation, they should really be quite uh, accessible for people with disabilities, which really means that this is a promise that we have a real equal future in the new uh, uh, coming in generations that they will be able to go and have their place in all works and in all types of um, work and employment in the new cities and in the uh, other new places. Uh, yes. Furthermore, uh, he promised a better situation for the employment of persons with disabilities at all levels. And also, he has asked uh, the health ministry to work uh, diligently, diligently on uh, applying the insurance of uh, health coverage for persons with disabilities. Actually, there are a very large number of uh, gifts in uh, what the president has uh, given in his speech, which really makes it a new leap for us and for persons uh, with disabilities families, uh, uh, which means that every year we are really improving greatly in applying the rights of persons with disabilities. Yes. So uh, also, uh, Dr. Heba, a documentary 
on the achievements made during the last three years of providing special services for people with disabilities in Egypt was featured during the ceremony. Can we shed more light on these achievements as you've just mentioned some of those achievements? Uh, uh, do we have any other achievements uh, in the past three years? Uh, definitely. Uh, we, we have uh, we had a great change since 2014 and the, the Constitution itself yes. gave us uh, nine articles mentioning the rights of persons with disability, which has never been done before. Hmm. We, we usually had two or three um, mention in, in some articles about disabled people's rights, but not in, uh, in full the article in full mentioning the rights of persons with disability. And also the Constitution has three other articles mentioning disability, but in a dire, indirect way. Uh, then after that, it came the, the law 10 for year 2018, which is the main comprehensive law that guards and regulates the rights of persons with disabilities in Egypt, which is a very uh, progressive law and it has been written in accordance, total accordance with the Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disability, which Egypt has ratified in, 20, uh, in 2008. Uh, and this has given all the rights that we are now enjoying and we are working on improving. And each year, the president is really putting a lot of effort to follow up what has been done from the uh, from one year to the other and getting into more detail to improving the lives of persons with disability uh, can you tell us more about cooperation between different ministries here in egypt to achieve this goal uh, actually the the law 20 uh, the law 10 of 2018 is a law that cover that has covered the rights of persons with disabilities and these, this coverage includes 17 uh, ministries that should cooperate together to, because, you know, the, right, the, the rights of persons with disabilities are uh, everyday life problems. And we need to solve these problems one way or another. Hmm. If, if you go out of your house, you have a problem with roads and transportation. And this is with the Ministry of Transportation and uh, if you have, uh, if you need to go to uh, to have your physiotherapy, if you need to go and have uh, a checkup, medical checkup, this means you're going to the Ministry of Health. If you need to get out and apply for a car uh, because you need the accessible transportation, also you go back to the Ministry of uh, Health. You go to social affairs for different services. You go for other services in, uh, in youth and sports uh, ministry. Uh, you know, all, uh, it's almost all the ministries are interactive and interrelated uh, when we come to the issues of disability. And there should be high synchronization between all these ministries when it comes to dealing with persons with disability. But we cannot say that this is a big issue because actually if you think about the lives of uh, persons without disabilities, this is what these ministries already do. They do cooperate to make the life easy for persons without disabilities. So the same thing should be done for persons with disabilities, uh, which is not something out of the ordinary for these ministries to do. Yes, uh, also uh, Dr. Heba, Minister of Youth and Sports, uh, Dr. Ashraf Subhi addressed uh, the ceremony and said that the state attaches top priority to the people with the disability, adding that the ministry adopted 50 projects directed uh, to them. Can you tell us more about the achievements of people uh, uh, with the, uh, disabilities in the sports fields and the uh, country support to them? Actually, now all the clubs open their doors to accept persons with disabilities, either as a member of the club uh, uh, doing sports or not. This is not the issue. But on, uh, and, uh, in the, all the courts and all the sports activities are open to the idea of having uh, special, uh, uh, special training for persons with disabilities 
if they want to have uh, to practice any uh, sports in the, any club. Well, the major thing also is that uh, when they apply for the membership, they are really allowed much easier, uh, which is very different than before. If they knew that uh, you were a disabled person, this was a very uh, argumentative position, and they will take you or not take you. Now we have a board member that should be nominated from persons with disabilities to protect the rights of persons with disabilities in all clubs and youth um, uh, uh, centers, um, which which means that uh, it will always be one of the priorities of any club to satisfy the needs of persons with disabilities accordingly. When it comes to the Federation of Sports, yes, the Federation, they are putting a lot of effort with uh, the, its, its members because actually who really get the Olympic medals are persons with disability for years and years uh, ago and to come because uh, they are really putting their effort, their ambition and all their uh, uh, dreams in being athletes and really perform and be on, to, on the top of the list and say that yes we can. Yes. Uh, also, uh, can you tell us uh, why uh, the 3rd of December was chosen to mark this occasion? <laughs> this is a day for internationally chosen so that we can all celebrate and raise awareness towards persons with disabilities and uh, say that around the world, all the world will, will talk the same language on that day. But... Um, in all the Arab countries and mainly in Egypt, we have turned this one day of celebration into a, a month of celebration. And during the month of de December, we always are really very busy going from one place to another to raise awareness, to uh, uh, honor uh, persons with disabilities, either athletes or, or uh, uh, having uh, done any uh, uh, clever things. Um, mainly, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's an awareness raising campaign that is repeated each year. And having the president on top of the list to be the one that is really uh, promoting our rights and uh, fighting for our rights and putting the citizenship of a person with disability equal to any citizenship uh, all around the country, it's really uh, doing miraculous things for the population of persons with disability in each. So uh, also uh, if we uh, talk about the role of media and how, and how can it takes part in clarifying uh, the importance of uh, raising awareness about uh, this issue and uh, dealing with it. So can you shed light on the role of the media? Uh, thank you for this question because uh, now we are in the media age yes. and uh, anything that is not done, with, that is done, even if it's a great thing, if it is not well covered by media, it fades and dies. But if we are talking about media in general, not only social media or uh, uh, the digitized media, uh, it raises awareness because it reaches every home, it reaches every child, it reaches every parent. So your role is really a crucial and pivotal role for us. And please, we need your help to the most, I don't know, we need your help extensively. Yes. We cannot deny that. It's very important that the media backs up and the awareness of the media to be transferred to the awareness of the population and society is of utmost importance. Yes. So finally, tell me about some of the challenges that still uh, uh, face uh, the differently able people. And how can uh, uh, the state help them in the coming years as we have seen that uh, we've just started? And of course, there is a long way. So uh, tell me about some of these challenges and uh, uh, how do you view them? Uh, actually, the challenges are many, but I am not really worried because if we have a president that is really sincere to push forward all the 
the the rights of uh, people in this country i'm not really worried we are, we as women uh, we are really we really feel secure in such a country we as persons with disability we really feel we are secure and feeling uh, more at ease with such a president and who is really a father for every egyptian and who is really supporting each and every category and he is not really uh, leaving it to uh, just incidents but there is a very close follow up if if uh, women's day we are always uh, keeping track of what happened for a year in the on women's problems and women's issues and if every every year in december we are uh, running a close follow up for what what has happened in the the issues and problems of persons with disability i think definitely in a few years we will have the biggest leap ever in our life and in our society that we will one day be equal to persons without disability yes uh, finally i'd like to thank you dr heba hagras international disability consultant and former member of parliament and as i've just said that president abfattah sisi attended on uh, Wednesday, a uh, differently abled celebration for supporting people with special needs and under the slogan of We Have a Place, the ceremony was held at Al Manara Conference Center, New Cairo. In remarks during the ceremony, the president praised the nation's martyrs, calling on all Egyptians to protect the country and keep working for a better future. The president said that the state is uh, performing its duties and shouldering its responsibilities towards all its citizens, adding that the state depends on laws and regulations in the administration of its institutions. The president also thanked the families of the people with special needs for their efforts and sacrifices. A documentary on the achievements made during the last three years of providing special services for people with special needs in Egypt was featured during the ceremony. Wrapping up the remarkable event, President Sisi took memorial photos with several people with special needs attending the ceremony. Meanwhile, Minister of Youth and Sports, Dr. Ashraf Subhi, addressed the ceremony, saying that the state attaches top priority to the people with special needs and that the ministry adopted 50 projects directed to them. Minister, for her part, Minister of Social Solidarity, Nivina al Kabbaj, also said Egypt made great progress in protecting the rights of people with special needs despite the crises rocking the world. And uh, by that, dear viewers, uh, we come to the end of uh, today's edition of uh, Cairo Local Time. Thank you for watching.